green slope water ponding repair on a rubber roof. This roof is about 15 years old and it had an aluminum coating on it. And right here is where the water would pond. And here's another part. You can tell by all the dirt and the leaves. So first you want to power wash it nice and clean, especially where the water ponds because it gets a really dirty. I'm using a Ryubi electric power washer. So you want to let it dry overnight. Here's some parts where you can see where the paint chips flaked off. The aluminum paint or coating. Or you want it nice and clean before you add the water ponding compound. I'll do it. So here's the green slope leveling compound. This is called a tote. Oh. Oh, it's all loose in there. So the green slope is a roof leveling compound that helps eliminate water ponding on flat rooftops. This material combines recycled rubber granules with lightweight styrofoam beads. It blends with a polyurethane binder, forming a trail grade substance that's easy to mold and sculpt. Once set, it resembles the surfaces found in running tracks and playgrounds and can endure harsh weather conditions and foot traffic. The green slope compound is highly malleable and easy to work with using a trowel. Everything you need for the application is included in the kit, the material, adhesive, and priming tools. It can be used either above or below the roofing membrane. Water ponding repair tote includes four buckets of primer, Primer adhesive is what they call it. Now I ordered this all through Viking. I will leave the link in the description. They give you the, the directions, some gloves, a brush, and the two bags. So this five gallon, a five gallon pail can cover an area of nine square feet at a thickness of one inch. So I scooped up about 10 scoops into the bag. Enough that I could carry up. To the roof. So first you want to add the adhesive. You want to brush a little bit on. And then mix the remaining adhesive primer into the bag.
and mixing it, all you have to do is just push it side to side. Then you pour it right on the section that needs to be filled. And you use the trowel and you push it and flatten it out. Now this material is really lightweight. And it was really easy to work with. And when I'm and then you take the piece of wood or a straight edge and you smooth it out. You want a long piece so that it's touching the flat parts of the roof where it's not ponding and then you you pull it over. So I'm brushing on the adhesive. For this roof, I'm doing sections at a time. Just pour it down, spread it out, use your hands, make sure you have gloves on. And then flatten it out with the trowel. push it down. Now I should have used the second green bag, but I, I used the same bag for all the pores. Single component polyurethane. Now mixing, all you have to do is kind of wiggle it. Now this part, as you can see, I didn't stir it enough in the tote. I didn't reach down at the bottom and stir it. So there's more styrofoam balls in this batch. You can see it because there's more white. The styrofoam beads. So 
So I had I, some of the styrofoam kind of flies all over the place. So it's really easy. Just vacuum it up with a Dyson. So before you top coat this, this is six hours later. Make sure you clean it up really good. Okay, so here's where the problem started. It was just on this part. Some of it was too loose. Alright. So I recommend having ordering another adhesive primer bag in case this happens to you. So what I did, I just went over to Home Depot and bought oil-based polyurethane. And I poured it in the sections that were really loose. This seemed to work. So if you're in a, if you can't get the adhesive from the website, you can get, just get oil, oil polyurethane. So I'm top, I'm putting the top coat of tropical white silicone roof coating and I'm using a 12 inch, half inch nap. I brush on the edges. Now for when you're rolling it on the roof, I just pour a little bit at a time out and I just roll it. The parts of the roof came onto the roller, you just pull them off. All right, so the following morning, most of it all, was all dry, but some small pieces were coming up. I just pulled them up. polyurethane worked. I just used a brush and did the edges. I'm using a chip brush. And then I rolled on the rest of the silicone top coat.
and it went on really well over the green sloop compound. Here's the finished look. Nice bright white to reflect the sun. The green sloop, it blended in pretty good. So down the road, I'll probably add another coat of the tropical. Here's a close-up of the, uh, the side roof. So four hours later, it actually started to rain really heavy. So I got to see what, what the roof would look like. And there was a little bit of ponding, but not where I put the green sloop. This little bit of water would dry out the next day. So here's the next morning. There's hardly any ponding. And this will dry really fast. Thanks for watching.